guys welcome to my channel as you can tell by the title we are going to be decorating this bedroom for those of you who are new and those of you who have been rocking with me know that i recently bought a house about a year and a half ago and i'm finally getting around to decorating it and making it into an actual home those of you who decorate know that it takes time to kind of get it exactly how you want to um, hence the reason why a year and a half later I am just starting to decorate. So basically before we get started I kind of wanted to give you a guys an idea of how I wanted to decorate the room. Anytime I do a project I always go on Pinterest. Pinterest is my best friend. I live, eat, sleep, breathe the Pinterest. And so what I'll do is just type in um, for instance, what I, I typed in is green and gold bedroom. And I'll look at all the pictures and I'll pin them to a separate board. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to that board and just kind of look over the common theme of what I like. And then I'll make a separate mood board. This time around, it was a little bit difficult because as you'll see in the beginning of the video, I started out decorating the room completely different than what it ended up being and I had to start back over. I ended up having to sell furniture that, I, that was newly bought and I only had for like a few months because the vision that I had just wasn't really coming to life and I didn't like it. So this is why I kind of just take my time because I don't have time to be buying new furniture to only sell it a few months later. That's a waste of money. So I'll go ahead and show you guys um, my Pinterest board. If you want to follow me, it's just Sincerely Shannon on Pinterest board. So I can show you guys kind of what idea I have for it. So as you can see, green is definitely the theme. I for sure wanted a green bed, which is very odd to me because I am not a color person. If you watch my previous vlogs, you know that like everything was like either cream or white, like my bedding and stuff like that. I definitely wanted a bench in the room, mainly for my dog so he can have something to lay on. Um, I pinned a few mood boards just to give me a little bit of information, um, but I definitely, let me go back to this, I definitely wanted gold accents throughout the room. And then I wanted white sheets. I am a white sheet person. I like to see the dirt. I'm not a germaphobe, but I just feel like when you have white sheets, you're better able to see the dirt. And so I definitely wanted to make sure I went for a more neutral tone, tone um, comforter and sheet set. Which I already knew what I was going to do because all my sheets are white anyway. Um, and then also I knew that I wanted wallpaper which is different for me. I actually hate, hate painting with a passion. Um, and I don't necessarily like the wallpaper thing either because um, it is time consuming, but you get better as you go over time. But I definitely knew that I wanted some type of print wallpaper. So those were really just my requirements as you can see. Nothing too much, just gold accents, green bed, and wallpaper and that's pretty much it so as you guys can see after i went through my pinterest i was able to go ahead and put together a mood board which i'll show you now i just made a common theme um it's a cozy modern glam room and i have my color block theme on there which is just gold neutral tone and green I got the bench on there i got the rug i got my side tables the lighting and then the bed and then everything else is accessories but it just kind of narrows in to what exactly I want for the bedroom. So now that you guys kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for in my bedroom, let's go ahead and get into this video and see this process so I can show you the room in its entirety. Okay, so hey y'all, this is day one. I'm gonna start day one. This is about to be a long process because I'm a procrastinator and I take forever to do stuff. But right now, this is how the room looks now. So the task today is to empty out this room completely. It's not much to empty. Just got my TV and my dresser. I just want to clear it out. So when y'all come back, it will be clear. All right, so now I am back. The room is practically empty, as you can see. I left this dresser in here because it's going to stay in here. It's just going to be in this spot. Um, but the bed is now out. I vacuumed everything, pulled the rug up, all that stuff. So now, I am about to attempt to put up this wallpaper. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so I figured this was going to be a multiple day project. So smart Shannon only ordered one roll of wallpaper. Um, and so I have only gotten halfway done. So I'm going to go ahead and order another one and put that up when it comes, I guess. Cause I feel like it's easier to glue it than to sew it. Or I could put a zipper, but I'm not about to even do all that. I'm gonna just fluff it out a little bit. And this is my pillow, y'all. I'll show y'all how I actually made the other one. It's a nice size pillow. I like it, and it matches. The fabric actually matches. Perfect. Okay, y'all. So this is day eight thousand and sixty-three of this um, bedroom project. So right now I am just um, spray painting some pieces that I had. That was another thing I tried to do. Instead of buying all new pieces, I wanted to use pieces that I already had. And guess what? It worked out perfectly. Spray paint is my best friend. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I had these two leaves. I believe I got them from Pier 1. I had those and I wanted to reuse them to put on the side table. And then these big balls, it's another one right there. Um, I'm gonna spray paint that. I've already started this one. So, I just got my bench for the bedroom. This is the last piece I needed to get to complete the room. So, I'm about to put this together. And I hope it makes everything come together. the video i definitely enjoyed this process of making the room over i am truly satisfied with it i didn't think it was going to come together because i'm not a color person but i really love the room so leave your comments down below let me know what are some of your makeover tips what are you making over in your house what are you decorating where are some of your places favorite places to shop at 
and then let me know also what else you want to see like i said i'm doing over my whole entire house every room needs to be done and so the next video i do have coming up is the laundry room so make sure you stay tuned for that and thanks so much for watching guys